As was always the plan, it's time for Tom Curran and John Cater of 217 Brew Works to part ways. I don't want to be brewing all my life. She said, no, but we could find someone who wanted to own a brewery, and we could start it and get that person in. Right. And, and that's where John, and comes, John comes in. That's a great segue. Yeah. Unfortunately, the plan has been accelerated, and John needs your help. By investing in this Indiegogo campaign, you can help make sure the brew voted best beer in eastern North Carolina stays in eastern North Carolina with Cater where it belongs. John will be the owner of the brewery. Barbie, over time. my wife and I, over the next five years, I we're see. hoping. Um, my, Which is a great opportunity for a brewery. Every brewery yeah. get opportunity. Yeah, well, and the other thing is he came with uh, just unbelievable credentials. Undergraduate degree in chemistry. Graduate degree from UC Davis with uh, in fermenting and, and uh, uh, brewing, and then an MBA. So um, he knows what he's doing. And can run the business. And he can run the business. John has until March to find investors to help him buy out Mr. Curran's portion of the 217 Brew Works. Uh, John was the one that rose to the top because of a couple of things, not the least of which is that he had already had the um, uh, trademarks uh, and, and um, uh, for. Ten or eight really great brews, mm -hmm. and six or eight, six, you know, six, six, six really great brews at the yeah. time. Eight really great brews. Yeah, now, right. with him. So that, right. that that he brought in as a part of his in kind. Right, right. John's brands brought humor and personality to 217 Brew Works, and they have been the driving force behind the success the brewery has achieved in its first year of business. Each beer shows a quirky element of his personality. Each beer has a story, and each beer embodies John Cater's creativity. Wearing out life's evening gray, smite thy bosom, sage, and tell, what is bliss and which the way? Thus I spoke, and speaking sighed, scarce repressed the starting tear, when the smiling sage replied, come, my lad, and drink some beer. John plans to use this new round of investment to ensure the brewery becomes a secure and sustainable business. Money will be used to implement important revenue streams detailed in John's original business plan that have not been pursued to date, such as a dedicated full-time outside salesperson and contracting with a mobile canning company so the beers you've grown to love can be sold outside of Wilson County in non-draft venues. Some funds will also be used for legal fees. John has fallen in love with his new home and is committed to being part of helping downtown Wilson prosper. As we, as we said earlier, I mean, beer is all about community. Yes, yes. And that's what 217 is going to yes. be about to the community. It, it says we are, we are a, a community brewery, and that has been our mantra, that has been our focus, that has, and John also, the second part of really selecting him to be the head brewer, came from the fact that he shared that vision. Our brewmaster has made a significant investment of time, know-how, and intellectual property to make the brewery a reality. And growing out to, I mean, is there some projections in the longer plan? The growing out is when I'm walking the dog again and he owns it. <laughs> <laughs> growing out the door for you. Right? Growing out the door for me, but yeah. We believe the best way to support the cause of craft beer is to support the craft brewer. John Cater brought his life's work to 217 Brew Works, an array of Southern approved brews that Eastern North Carolina and Wilson have embraced. If you've enjoyed the beers, consider helping John out by contributing to the Indiegogo campaign and sharing the campaign with friends.